This is Kibale Road. It is in the heart of Sili. It is about 200 meters long. It starts from Mohammed Yusuf Haji Avenue and joins other roads that connect different streets in Sili and to the Nairobi CBD. On the west, it joins Murachina Road that joins Juja Road to the north and General Wuryungi to the east of Murachina Road. Along this road are big shopping malls, three-star hotels, supermarkets, and thousands of people do business along this road. Poor drainage and sewer line coupled with dilapidated road is the main challenge here, and when it rains, the situation is worse and dire. I'm going to talk to you about 2003. And I'm going to talk to you about Jam City. I'm going to talk to Jam Barabara Chafu. I love City Council in Sumbua. And I'm going to talk to you about Barabara Tuna. I'm going to talk to you about Barabara Tuna. Barabara Tuna is going to talk to you about Barabara Tuna. I'm going to talk to you about Barabara Tuna. I'm going to talk to you about Na mimi nimekaa na nimekaa hapa miaka mingi sana nikiwa taxi driver. Lakini sioni raha ya hapa sana. I am in Sili North on Kibande Athmani Road. On my left side is Bangkok and the famous Garden Road shopping mall and on my right side is the Hong Kong building shopping mall. Behind me is Muhammad Yusuf Haji Avenue. On this road Kibande Athmani is impassable. It has poor drainage system and the Sili business community have been calling on the government to fix this problem and today we came here to find out what actually the business community are doing on their own capacity to fix this issue. My name is Omar Ahmed Noor, I'm the organizing secretary of the Business District Association. Uh, about this road, it is the heart of Isli first of all and uh, it's an old and famous road, uh, normally for, known as uh, Woodley Street uh, but now Kapanga. It is uh, a connection from Moratina, this side, to the Yusuf Haji uh, road, which is formerly known as First Avenue. Um, uh, it, is, it, is, it is our highway of business, the highway of business, uh, and it has been like this for the last 20 years. It has not been repaired by the government. My name is uh, Omar Ibrahim Hussein. I'm the Secretary General of the City Business District Association. Uh, this road has been in this condition for a long time. The Sili business community have been collecting garbage from the road to clear the blockage from the drainage, but they seem to have tired of this perennial challenge. We also tried as a business community to make cleanliness, to talk to our members, or we'll do the little thing we can do as a business community. We have been doing that. But you see, it is something we out of our control. You see the hawkers are everywhere, the dirt is everywhere. It is something we cannot control and we, it, they are not our members. Hawkers are not our members. So we blame partly the hawkers and the menace of this dirtiness and everything. Uh, I can see some part of the road there is uh, water. Where is this water coming from? The water is the drainage system which is not properly instituted, properly constructed when the road was being constructed. So we blame the drainage system has a problem. And we raise the same issue with the national government and the county government. So the drainage is the problem because that's why you find this drainage could have moved to a specific place but it is not moving, it is as if it is converging to this area. So that is the challenge we have. Isri North MCA Usman Adu explain why this road has been neglected for so long and what the business people are doing in their own capacity to find a solution for their problem. But he is not happy with the business community and he blamed them for being part of the problem. Uh, this road has been a problem for the last few years. Uh, the, the last three decades has been like this. Uh, the main problem, I think uh, I would uh, probably before now, was pro goodwill from the county, from previously the county council. Because uh, this road became like this during the county council time. And while the county government time, we have worked hard on it. Uh, for the last uh, at least nine years I've been there. Every year we have been budgeting, we have been putting it into the work plan, but it has never materialized. Uh, probably I would say it's due to lack of proper funding, because this, uh, as you can see, it requires a lot of work. Apart from uh, fixing the road, there is a problem of uh, sewer and there is a problem of uh, drainage, and that requires a little bit more extra. Business community has not been helpful, because as you can see, they dump everything in here. 
the, once you clear, you find that, uh, you see, all this is new. Once somebody sells a shirt, he throws the... The paper. The, 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 the paper, paper part. That was ra the wrappings onto here, which affects the, the drainage system, because once the water comes in, it blocks the drainage all the way there. And so the business people here have not been very helpful also. They have been part of the problem rather than the solution. On the other side, the Sili Business District Association Secretary General Omar Ibrahim Hussein refuted the claims that they are part of the problem. We are not so to be blamed because you know as a business community we represent the people who have malls and the members of the malls and those who have shops. And those people, at the end of the day, they are cleaners who will clean every mall. And they have a dumping site where they can put their dirties and everything. We, we have the dumping site there where they have the specific place to put the dirty. So we cannot be, be blamed for that. What is, we, what is not our, our control is the hawkers and those people who are doing business outside their building. But for the building the, we represent, they are clean, they are doing the, the, the job according to how it is required. For their business to run smoothly and enjoy a healthy environment, they need the government to move quickly in tarmacking this road. We want the, this road to be built very urgently because it is a road that serves sleep properly. It is in the heart of the Sili. It is the famous Gariza Lodge. This is where we, the, the whole of Sili started from this place. So this road is very important, very vital. We want the government to do uh, the right thing and clean and build this road very quickly. And also we urge our members to maintain cleanness. Whatever, whenever they are doing business, business is the environment is also very important to do a business. The environment is very important so that you take the responsibility. When you are coming, coming for shopping or when you are having you are opening your shop, you must maintain cleanness. When we have clean environment, we have clean health, we have clean business. Uh, the, our last message or plea is this road to be built because this is the heart of Sli. It is the, actually the mirror of Sli. If this road is being built, I'm, I'm sure the whole of movement of this area is going to change. The booming business is going to be changed in this area. And everybody is going to be happy because the shoppers who come from outside Sli will see that it's a clean area. But when they come here from outside and they come to Sli, they think Sli is a no-go zone. It is a, it is a neglected area. Uh, it is not good for, your, for, for, for business or even health. A contractor has been awarded to repair this road and in this month, December, the construction of this road will kick off. Right now, as we speak, the contract has been issued and the contractor will be on site soon. And uh, that, apart from the road, the Nairobi Water and Sewer Company has also pledged to fix the drainage system and uh, not the drainage system, the sewer system. And, and so I think in the next one month, we'll see that the contractor will be on site and start working on this uh, problem that has been there for more than two decades.